Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to set up upsells on Digistore24. If you're not entirely sure what upsells are, take a look at the video that's now linked in the top right hand corner. I will have you know that there are three types of upsells on Digistore24. The first type is where you offer one or a few different products in one upsell step. The second type is where you offer only one single product in different quantities. And the third type is where you offer just one product again, but with different payment plans. Either way, you need to have done a few different things beforehand. First of all, you need to have already created all your upsell products on Digistore24. You can find out how to do this in the video that's now displayed in the top right hand corner. This also means that you must have already created the corresponding upsell pages. For example, the pages on which you offer your upsell. If you now also want to suggest different payment plans for one of your upsell products in one upsell step, you need to have created all these different payment plans as well. I've created a video about this for you, so just take a look at it if you need a quick refresher. Last but not least, a really good upsell should not lead back to the order form after a customer has decided to make a purchase. Rather, it should be a so-called one-click upsell. In other words, you only need to click on the buy button to purchase it and you're done. On Digistore24, go to Account, and then Products, and click on the three-dot icon next to your main product. This is the product that will be sold before your upsells. Then click here on the first option, which will take you to the Conversion Cockpit, where we'll now create all your upsells. To do this, you always proceed in the same way. Click on Add Upsell to create a new upsell step. Select the upsell type you would like to use. Configure it here below and include this JavaScript code on your upsell page. Then finally link the buy buttons on your upsell page with the links that are listed here. As you probably know, it's important for an upsell page to have at least one yes buy button and a no do not buy button. That's what these links are for. Whereas these links here will always change according to the upsell settings you set here in this tab. The JavaScript code will always remain the same. Now before we go into all these steps I just explained, I recommend that you copy this JavaScript code and integrate it into all your upsell pages. I'm doing this with CoChannel so I can just embed an HTML.js component and then paste the code into it. But it should work in the same way with any other page builder. If you don't use any tools to build your website and are not sure how to include the links on your upsell page, I recommend you get in touch with your web designer or programmer. So now that you've inserted the JavaScript code on all your upsell pages, let's look at the other steps in more detail. And as I said before, it always starts with deciding on an upsell type. Either you just want to add one or more upsell products here as an upsell, you want to offer multiple quantities for one product, or you want to offer multiple payment plans. Again, just for one product. Now let me show you how to do that using four examples. The corresponding time codes that help you jump to the right place can be found in the description of this video. To make sure you've seen everything, however, I recommend you just take a quick look at all the examples. So let's get started. If you want to offer a single product as an upsell, select it under Products here in the dropdown. If it has multiple payment plans and you want to set a specific one, you can select that here in the Payment Plans tab. It works in the same way if you want to sell a certain quantity of your product as an upsell. Here you'd have to go to the Quantity tab and specify the quantity here. Either way, you have to switch the Links tab last of all. In other words, you need to assign special links to the Yes button and No option in a further step on your upsell page. These are conveniently generated and listed for you right here on Digistore. And use it for your Yes option on your upsell page and the second link here for the corresponding No option. But now to the next example. If you want to offer different products in the upsell step, as in this example here, you have to add further products here in Digistore under Products via the button here below and select them again in the dropdown. Then you just need to include the links again on your upsell page under this tab here. In my case, I take the first buy link for this button here, the second buy link for this button, and finally the third buy link for this button. You'll always need only one do not buy button. 
So there's only this one link, which I'll embed here. And let's keep going. In this example, I want to make one and the same product available in three different quantities for my upsell step. Namely, a ticket to an event in Miami Beach. To do this, I need to switch to Quantity on Digistore, select this ticket product here, and add a total of three quantity options using this button. In my example, I want to offer the ticket once, twice, and three times. Once this is done, I just need to include the links as always. For the one ticket option, it's this link that I need to add to my upsell page. For the two ticket option, it's this link here that belongs to the buy button here in the middle. The only thing missing is the third link. Finally, only the no thank you option is left. As always, I simply find the link for it at the bottom. Of course, this must also be embedded so that everything works seamlessly. In our final example, I want to sell another private yoga session. However, because it's quite expensive and I want to prevent the high price from scaring away customers, I also offer the session as part of an installment plan so that customers themselves can decide how they want to purchase it. So I switch to Payment Plans on Digistore, select my private yoga training product, and add a second payment plan using the button below here. For the first payment plan, I use installments. And for the second payment plan, I use a single payment. If I switch back to the links tab, I can already see all the corresponding URLs. So I'm putting this link at this button here. And the second payment plan is so I copy the URL here as well. Now, as always, all that's left is the no thank you button. Now you've seen how to implement four different use cases here in the conversion cockpit. Once you've finished setting up your upsell step, you just need to click on Save, and then it'll be displayed here already. As you may know, you can create up to five upsell steps in total. The process is the same for each of these steps. At the desired point, so here if your upsell product has been bought or here if it wasn't, simply click on the Add button again and proceed as before. This is how you create your upsell flow. I recommend though that you now also specify to which page your customers will be redirected once they've gone through your upsell flow. This is possible under settings at the top at this option here. You can either set it to be the default Digistore upsell confirmation page to a page of your own or simply the thank you page of the last purchased product. No matter what you decide, don't forget to click on save. And now you're finally done. Way to go. To make sure that everything works as you wish and you haven't overlooked anything, I recommend that you make a test purchase of your main product. You can find out how this works in the video that's now displayed.